Hello, welcome to my 20 week pregnancy update. I can't believe it, I am actually halfway through this pregnancy and that's crazy to me because it's just flown so quickly. Um, yeah, I, I can't believe that I'm already halfway, 20 weeks, seven weeks until I'm in the third trimester, that's crazy. I haven't been able to do a update in the last four weeks because I've been just crazy busy. Um, I'm just going to make this video an update of the past four weeks. Um, so from the last update was 16 weeks and I'm going to update today for 20 weeks. After the 16 week pregnancy update video, uh, my nausea started to settle quite well. It settled to almost minuscule amount of nausea and I was so happy, which is when I was hit with the flu. Now I've had my flu injection when I found out I was pregnant, I had the flu injection. So it was very disappointing to learn that I had caught the flu while pregnant and knew that I couldn't take any medication for it, um, which is always fun. I noticed that I was getting a cold, like coughing and sneezing on, I think it was like a Saturday and I was just continuing my daily activities. I went out for the night and um, went to dinner and when I came back home, I wasn't feeling very well. I just thought I had the common cold. Um, little did I know the next day I would wake up and feel so horrible. I felt like death. I didn't know that the flu while pregnant is um, increased. It's, the symptoms are so much worse than when you're not pregnant. Um, I woke up and I was just coughing and sneezing and I didn't want to eat anything, uh, my appetite was gone, um, and I had a fever. So I woke up hot, and then I went back to sleep, and then I woke up cold, and I went back to sleep, and it was just never ending, like hot, cold flushes. Um, I was just feeling awful. I also had muscle aches all down my back and all down my legs. They were so, so painful. I didn't know if I could last, like I thought I had to go to hospital or something. Um, but those pains were so bad. I had a headache, I had fever. I did try to eat some lunch, and which is when I threw it back up. <laughs> so um, I learned that I probably didn't want to eat very much um, in case I wanted to throw it back up um, and I had about four days off that week um, off of work because I was just terrible so from not eating very much I did lose a little bit of weight again which you know my weight goes up and down um, and I've been trying to gain a little bit of weight um, but seemed <laughs> not the right time um, in pregnancy you are allowed to have Panadol, Paracetamol, so I did take that and that seemed to help with my body aches, so I, I remember I was in a lot, a lot, a lot of pain and to the verge of tears, um, I took some Panadol and I went to sleep and I just felt so, so much better um, in regards to the muscle aches. Um, the other things the doctor recommended that I could do is use Fez, which is a nose spray. This helped a lot. Um, another thing I did was gargle salt water three times a day. Um, that seemed to help clear like the congestion and um, help me on the way to getting better. Um, I had a lot of rest. The doctor did say to sleep, rest a lot, don't do anything too strenuous. Um, just so until I got over the flu. Other than that, there's not much else you can do for a flu in pregnancy other than waiting it out. So by about week 18, 
I started to feel a lot better. Um, my cough was still there, but you know, I, all the flu symptoms were gone, had gone away. I wasn't feeling like I was the week before, which was terrible. And I felt so much better and my appetite increased as well. I think after the flu went away, um, I started to eat a lot more and my body was craving food a lot more, which was really, really good. It's a good feeling to um, actually want food again. So by week 19, I was feeling a lot better. I was excited for my upcoming morphology scan because we we're going to find out the gender and we're going to see the baby and see if it's doing well. Because yeah. So I had been feeling really, really well until a couple of days ago. I just woke up and I felt really dizzy. I went to the shops because I was craving like a scrambled eggs and avocado breakfast um, and I went to the shops. I went to the shops and I came out of the shops and I knew I felt really, really dizzy. Um, but I, my plan was just to try and get to the car as quickly as possible before I fainted. There were no seats around so I couldn't sit down and I thought it would be weird to sit on the floor in the shopping centre so I got onto the escalator and that's when my eyes, um, they kind of clouded over. I couldn't really see very much. And it was a bit scary. I didn't know what I was going to do. So I got to the end of the escalator and I just sat on the floor. I was in a very weird position and but I needed to sit down because I knew I was going to faint. So I just sat down and I emptied one of the bags that I had of groceries out because I felt like I might have thrown up. Sat there for a good 5-10 minutes um, getting over this faint spell that I was going through. Um, during this time, about, I would say, around 20 people walked past me. I was in an odd position, um, I wasn't feeling very well, and no one stopped to ask if I was okay. I thought it was really strange. I, I almost wanted to ask someone for help, but I felt weird. I don't know. I felt embarrassed. A lot of people looked at me. Um, but didn't offer any help. I had my head in a bag um, as if I was going to throw up. I had shopping on the floor and just, it was a very weird situation and no one stopped to help me. And I thought that was so weird, um, but eventually I felt better. I got back up and I walked to the car and I was feeling a lot better. Cravings I have been experiencing in the last four weeks are milk and watermelon. Milk is a really big one. I normally do not like drinking milk at all and any chance I can get I will have milk or a milkshake or something to do with milk because I, it's just really nice. <laughs> watermelon is another big, big, big craving I have been having. Um, I just seemed to try it one day and I just wanted it every single day after that. Um, I can eat a lot of it as well, um, which is, which is kind of good because it's healthy, but it's an obsession now. <laughs> So last week, on Monday, we had our morphology scan, which is the ultrasound that looks at the anatomy of the baby and it also tells us the gender of the baby. Now, Jordan and I had decided that we wanted to find out the gender at the ultrasound, just the two of us, and then we wanted to have a gender reveal afternoon tea with just our close family and friends um, and reveal the gender to them. So the ultrasound itself was so exciting, like we got to see the baby. The baby was very, very, very active and it was a struggle for the sonographer to find the different parts of the body because uh, the baby kept turning around and moving around and jumping up and down and it was just <laughs> It's a very active baby. The sonographer asked Jordan and I what we thought the gender of the baby was and 
we both instantly just said girl. We both have thought it was a girl, had feelings it was a girl. Um, and the sonographer just said, you're both wrong, <laughs> it's a boy. Um, which we were so, so, so happy about. Um, I can't wait to have a little son um, in just four and a half months. Jordan was so, so happy. Um, I think he was wanting a boy, but he thought it was a girl. Um, but he is very, very excited about having a boy. I guess he's just excited that he can have a son that he can share all his games and statues and Spider-Man figures and everything with. Um, and yeah, he was really excited. I was really excited. and. We were really excited to share it with our family and friends, but we had to wait six days for six very long days of trying to watch our mouths um, when talking to family and friends. It was so hard to keep it a secret, but we did. Eventually we had our gender reveal party on Sunday and that was really fun. Um, it wasn't very big, it was just, just a small gathering of our family and friends. Um, and Jordan had made a cake which had um, blue cake inside um, and we were going to reveal it to our family and friends. I'll link the gender reveal video down below um, if you haven't seen it yet. Um, it was a really special day. Um, everyone was really excited. Everyone guessed boy um, and a few people guessed girl. Um, so everyone seemed to be right about the boy. <laughs> so in the morphology scan, um, the sonographer said that everything looked normal, all the measurements were normal for the baby. Um, so we were really happy to hear that we have a happy, healthy and active baby. <laughs> so I have some pictures of the ultrasound, but I'm not sure you're going to see them very well, but I'll insert a clip of all the images we got. So I have been feeling a lot of movement in the last week. Um, not so much on the outside, but more so on the inside. This is a very active baby. Um, every time I lie down, it's just like constant moving around, rolling over, kick, kick. <laughs> um, I actually felt the kicks a lot bigger one day. So I got Jordan to put his hand on my um, belly where I felt the kick. And he actually got to feel like a little kick. Um, it wasn't very big, but it was the first time he'd felt his son and he was so happy. It was a really special moment. So the movement is very low, um, very low under my belly button. So I feel that I'm going to be carrying very low this pregnancy. Uh, you can already tell with how my bump is progressing that um, that baby is going to be very low. So coming up in the next few weeks, um, next week we have a visit to the hospital to meet with the obstetrician there. He or she is going to go over the morphology scan results and we're also going to book into our parenting classes as well as book our bed in the hospital. So there's lots of things going on next week which will be exciting. Also coming up. I'm hoping to film the couples tag with Jordan so that he can be on this channel as well and we can learn a little bit more about each other. <laughs> My bump has, as they say, popped in the last week. Um, it wasn't really growing very much until, yeah, until a week ago when it just seemed to one day have gone out and we're just like, oh, you look pregnant. <laughs> Though my bump has popped, I still am very small for 20 weeks. A lot of people have commented that I 
don't look 20 weeks pregnant, but I guess it's just because it's my first pregnancy. Um, I am pretty tall as well, so I guess that's a factor. Everyone carries differently, so I guess um, I'm just going to start growing soon, hopefully. <laughs> um, but you'll see in the next clip my, um, my bump. And it has popped out a little bit, but it's still not very big. So.